Hey, what's up guys? It's James here from Knives and Gear. Here with another suggestion for you on my opinion, how you can quiet your kit. It's also going to be kind of twofold because I think it's going to be really short. Uh, how to quiet your kit, but also why I would choose Tasmanian Tiger over Maxpedition gear. Now I don't want to knock on Maxpedition. I've had quite a bit of their stuff in the past. Um, it's just one gripe I have with their gear. Essentially, I figure we'll start with that because it's easier and that's that if you want to attach anything any pouch to a backpack or a Pouch to another pouch or whatever you want to do. You have to have those tack ties I find that really really annoying to have to buy something extra and it's not attached to anything You might call that versatility, but I call it a frustration <laughs> so if you look at this Tasmanian Tiger pouch that I have here, it's got built-in Molly attachment points so you don't have to worry about losing it misplacing it or trying to find it if you want to attach this pouch to a backpack you just attach it you don't have to find a tack tie and worry about that whole piece it's already integrated as i believe most other brands of professional if we can call it professional uh, molly gear and webbing would probably be. But Maxpedition has those tack ties. Not a fan. Um, anyway, that's my two cents on that piece. Let's move on to how to quiet your gear. So if you guys have seen, with a lot of Molly pouches, you have double zippers like this one does. You can't see it right now because I've already mod modified this. Uh, but they have double zippers and I just, I brought these as an example. I didn't, I, I think I threw out the zippers, the actual zippers from this, but they have something like this, the metal zippers and then the pull tab. And to me, not sure if you can hear that, but you get a lot of that and then some because you have the cord rattling, but you get a lot of that rattling. That's why I always pull these things off. So if you want to take a look here, what I did, I basically just pulled off the zipper, this piece, pulled it right off, put the uh, paracord right directly onto the zipper base. There's no noise anymore. And what I also decided to do was take the second zipper completely off and just leave it. You can see there's still a zipper in there but I just took the tabs completely off. So now I don't need to worry about zipper. Which way am I pulling the zipper? If I'm trying to get into my pouch in a hurry, um, it's just a lot easier to know that I'm always pulling from one side to the other and not both ways. Again, some people might call that convenience. And I could have put the, the, the paracord back on this one if I wanted to have both and just reduce the noise. Uh, but for me, I wanted to simplify at the same time. So I took off, took that off. It's one zipper. It doesn't make any noise. The other thing that I did with this particular pouch on the inside, it has the uh, the loops to attach something, and up here it had it had a piece of plastic, a plastic loop, I guess you'd call it, uh, to attach keys to or whatnot. But I wasn't really using it, and it was a really big piece of plastic. So I just took it out. I just broke it and took it out completely. And now I leave this Night Eyes doohickey in here. That's kind of its home. So if I'm, whenever I'm packing this, this pouch full of gear, I always have this little tool with me. It's kind of a handy little guy. Bottle opener, screwdriver. I don't know if you could call that a pry tool. I think they do. A couple of different wrenches and a bit of a ruler on there. Um, but I just hang it in there. It stays out of the way. Um, but it took away the plastic, which was pretty useless to me and um, made it a little bit more useful. So there you have it folks, that's pretty much it uh, in terms of silencing your pouches for making a lot of noise and the reason why I prefer this style over a Maxpedition style. Like I said, I don't want to knock Maxpedition too much because their gear is pretty solid. Uh, it's just the uh, tack ties I'm not a fan of. There you go guys, if you want to know more about Tasmanian Tiger or about the other things I think you can do to reduce shake and rattle and noise with your gear, let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe.
Thanks, guys. Take care.